I went to London. Part 20 Hello. I hope you are feeling well. First, I want to remind you that there are part 1 to 19 to this story. If you have not watched it yet, visit my channel and watch it. So, you can understand the whole story well. You can find all these parts in a playlist named, I Went to London. My name is Sophia. I am a student of English literature. This is my story. I want to tell you about my life story in London. I want to tell you about my fantastic teacher. You can read my story. You can learn English with me. Next day, I go to school. Today's class is going to be very interesting. I say, let's preview your English pronunciation by reading 10 paragraphs together. I will read each of these paragraphs so you can listen to the sounds more carefully. I highly recommend that you record yourself while you are reading these paragraphs so you can listen back to yourself and correct your mistakes. At the park, on a sunny day, I love going to the park. The park is a special place with green grass and tall trees. There are flowers in different colors that smell nice. I bring my favorite book and sit on a bench. Kids are playing on the swings and slides, laughing and having fun. I see birds flying in the sky, and their songs make me smile. Sometimes, I take a walk along the winding paths, enjoying the fresh air. There's a pond with ducks swimming, and it's peaceful. I like watching them quack and swim around. The park is a happy and relaxing place where I can connect with nature and enjoy the simple pleasures of life. My school. My school is a welcoming place with a big building. Every morning, I go to school excited to learn new things. The classrooms have colorful walls and lots of desks. I have many friends, and we study together. The teachers are kind and help us understand different subjects. We have a playground where we play during breaks. Sometimes, we have fun activities and events at school. I enjoy reading books in the library and drawing in art class. Lunchtime is when we eat together and share stories. My school is a place of learning, laughter, and friendship, making each day interesting and enjoyable. My daily routine Every day, I wake up early in the morning. The sun is rising, and I feel fresh. First, I brush my teeth to keep them clean. Then, I take a quick shower to feel awake. After that, I get dressed in my favorite clothes. Breakfast is next, and I usually have cereal and milk. It's delicious. Then. I go to work or school, ready for the day. In the afternoon, I have lunch with my friends. We talk and share our day. After school or work, I like to relax at home. Sometimes, I watch TV or read a book. Before bed, I brush my teeth again and change into comfy pajamas. I climb into bed, ready for a good night's sleep. This is my daily routine.
and it keeps me happy and healthy. Around the house, around my house, there are many things to see and enjoy. As I step outside, I see tall trees and colorful flowers in the garden. The sun shines brightly, making everything look vibrant. There's a playground nearby, and I often hear children laughing and playing. My house has a cozy porch where I like to sit and read. Inside, there's a living room with comfortable sofas and a big TV. The kitchen is where we cook delicious meals, and the aroma fills the air. In my bedroom, I have a soft bed and a desk for homework. Every evening, we gather in the dining room for dinner and talk about our day. Around my house, there is warmth, comfort, and a sense of togetherness that makes it a wonderful place to call home. Numbers and Counting Learning numbers and counting is like unlocking a magical code. One is the start of the journey, followed by two three, and more. It's like building a staircase to reach higher numbers. Counting helps us understand how many of something we have. For example, I have two apples or three colorful balloons. Adding is like putting things together, and subtracting is taking things away. Five fingers on one hand and five on the other make ten fingers all together. It's fascinating to see numbers come alive in our daily activities. From counting toys to learning about the days of the week. Numbers are like friends that help us make sense of the world around us. And the more we know the more we can explore and understand. Learning numbers is a joyful adventure, opening doors to the exciting world of mathematics. Weather wonders. Weather wonders bring magic to each day. When the sun is shining, the sky turns bright blue, and it feels warm on my skin. On rainy days, Drops of water fall from the sky, creating a soothing sound. I can hear thunder rumbling during storms, and it's like nature's powerful music. Cloudy days bring soft, gray blankets to the sky, making everything calm. In winter, snowflakes fall gently covering everything in a beautiful white coat. Foggy mornings create a mysterious atmosphere, and I can imagine being in a fairy tale, learning about weather words, like sunny, rainy, and snowy, helps me express how I feel about the day. Weather wonders make each moment unique allowing me to appreciate the beauty of the changing skies. In the city, in the city, there's a lively rhythm that never sleeps. Tall buildings touch the sky, and cars move swiftly on the busy streets. People walk with purpose, heading to work or exploring the city's vibrant energy. There are shops with colorful signs, inviting us to discover new things. Parks offer green spaces to relax amidst the urban hustle. In the city, I can hear the sounds of traffic and laughter, creating a unique symphony. Cafes line the sidewalks, and the aroma of coffee fills the air. Learning about city words, like skyscrapers and intersections, helps me understand the urban landscape.
The city is a place of constant movement and excitement, where every corner has a story waiting to be explored. Travel Plans Planning for travel is like embarking on a thrilling adventure. First, I dream about exciting destinations, imagining sandy beaches or historic cities. Next, I check the calendar to find the perfect time for the journey. Then, I explore transportation options, like planes or trains, to reach my desired place. Learning travel words, such as tickets and luggage, helps me navigate the planning process. I think about the activities I want to do like sightseeing or trying local foods. Once everything is ready, the anticipation builds, making me eager for the upcoming adventure. Travel plans are like a roadmap to new experiences, and each step in the planning process adds to the excitement of the upcoming voyage. My school day my school day is full of interesting moments. First, I wake up early in the morning and get ready for the day. Then, I go to school with my friends, and we talk on the way. When I arrive, there are many classrooms, each filled with desks and colorful posters. I listen to the teacher who is kind and helps us learn new things. During breaks, we play in the schoolyard, running and laughing. Lunchtime is when we eat together and share stories. In the afternoon, we have more classes, like math and science. The school day is busy, but it's also a lot of fun. After school, I go home, and my family asks about my day. It's a routine, but every school day brings something new to learn and enjoy. My friends. My friends are like stars in the sky, making every day brighter. We laugh together, play games, and share secrets. Each friend is unique, with different interests and personalities. Some like sports, while others enjoy reading or drawing. When we gather, it's a joyful time filled with laughter and chatter. We support each other through challenges and celebrate our successes together. Learning about friendship words like loyalty and kindness, helps us understand the importance of being good friends. Whether it's a simple conversation or a fun adventure, my friends make each day special. In the tapestry of life, they are the vibrant threads that weave moments of joy, creating memories that last a lifetime. Students say, this listening and reading practicing is very use for improving English. Well done for listening these paragraphs. So beautifully, which topic was your favorite? Want to read? Tell me in the comment. I would also like to know from which country you are watching us. Advice. When you want to learn English, read, listen and speak. Do each activity for 30 minutes every day.